Welcome to our video series covering how to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infections, also known as CAUTI. I'm Charles Kraft, a registered nurse and senior consultant for Cardinal Health's clinical operations team. In today's video, we will cover in detail the entire process of how to insert a Foley catheter in a male patient, including pre-insertion activities and proper securement of the Foley catheter. Proper technique is critical to avoid introducing infection-causing organisms during the process. Bottom line, minimizing the risk of complications such as caudi associated with indwelling catheters begins with a septic insertion. First, review the patient's chart to ensure there is an order for catheterization based on the indications we covered in detail in our first video. These include acute urinary retention or bladder outlet obstruction, need for accurate output data for critically ill patients, perioperatively in select procedures including urologic surgeries, prolonged surgeries, when large volume infusions or intraoperative administration of diuretics are anticipated, or when monitoring of intraoperative urine output is necessary. Other indications include incontinent patients with open sacral or perineal wounds, patients subject to prolonged immobilization, and lastly, as a comfort measure when needed in end-of-life care. Check to see if the patient has any allergies, such as iodine or latex. Finally, review the chart for pathological factors that may impede the passage of a catheter. It is important to assess your patient. Unless clinically indicated, use the smallest catheter French size possible, consistent with good drainage, to minimize bladder, neck, and urethral trauma. In this segment, we will demonstrate cleansing the perineal area with swab sticks. Perform hand hygiene immediately before and after insertion or any manipulation of the catheter device or site. Begin by gathering your supplies. You'll need a Foley catheter closed system tray, perineal cleansing supplies in accordance with your facility's policy and procedure, and additional cleaning gloves. Start by donning non-sterile gloves. Lower the head of the patient's bed to a flat position. Have the patient bend their knees with their legs spread and hips externally rotated. Stand at the side of the bed in which your dominant hand is closest to the foot of the bed. Remove the patient's bed covers, pajama bottoms, or underwear. Remove non-sterile gloves and perform hand hygiene. Don a new pair of non-sterile exam gloves. Open the plastic wrap and remove the Foley kit. Place the tray between the patient's lower extremities. Open the outer CSR wrap away from you so that you are not leaning over the sterile field. Remove the Castile soap and hand sanitizer, set them aside. Open the inner layer and remove the top drape holding the back corners and slide it under the patient's perineal and hip area. Retrieve the Castile soap provided or use what is designated by your facility's protocol and cleanse the perineal area. Remove and dispose of non-sterile gloves and perform hand hygiene using the provided hand sanitizer. Don sterile gloves provided in the closed system tray. Always keep your hands above your waist and in front of you. Do not touch anything that is non-sterile. Explain to the patient that you will be prepping for insertion and that they will feel your hand and the cool prepping solution. Place the fenestrated drape over the perineum. Connect the pre-filled sterile water syringe to the inflation port on the catheter. You do not need to pre-inflate the balloon. From the tray, open the water-soluble lubricant and squeeze the bellows syringe into the tray compartment and discard the empty container. You may also save some lubricant into the container for placement directly into the meatus. With your sterile, dominant hand, grasp the catheter and remove it from the tray. 
With your non-dominant hand, remove the dust cover off the catheter, making sure to keep the catheter over the sterile field. You may wish to coil the catheter for better control. Now place the catheter tip into the lubrication jelly. Roll the catheter and coat approximately three inches of the catheter tip. Keep the catheter tip and lubricant and tray. Prepare the insertion site in a sterile fashion by opening the PVP solution packet, removing all three swab sticks and placing them in the prep tray. Grasp the penis firmly with your non-dominant hand. If the patient is not circumcised, retract the foreskin until the head is clearly visible. This hand is now contaminated and should be used to hold the penis in position for the duration of the procedure. Cleanse the head of the penis with the saturated swab sticks working from the urethral opening outward. Repeat the procedure with the additional swab sticks always working from the center outward using a circular motion. Use one swab for each circle. Explain to the patient that you will now begin the insertion and that they may feel some pressure and should take a few deep breaths. Caution them to remain still during the procedure. Slowly insert the catheter into the meatus with a firm continuous movement until you see urine in the tubing. You may feel some resistance. If there's a strong resistance, stop and reassess according to facility policy. If not, slowly advance the catheter another two to three inches so it is completely in the bladder. Hold the catheter firmly in place while you inflate the balloon with the entire 10 milliliters of sterile water provided in the tray. Disconnect the syringe from the inflation port. Gently pull back on the catheter to ensure that it is in place against the bladder neck. Release your hand from the perineal area, hang the collection bag below the bladder level, and secure the catheter on the patient's upper thigh with a catheter securement device. We will be reviewing steps to properly secure the catheter in detail later in the video. Using the sterile drape, wipe the perineal area to remove excess lubricant and prepping solution using a front to back motion. Use a different part of the sterile drape for each motion. Dispose of supplies and the sterile field from the patient's bed. Remove sterile gloves and perform hand hygiene. Document indication for insertion, date, time, size of catheter, and unit. There are various catheter securement devices in the market, and you should follow manufacturer's instructions. We will be demonstrating one example of a catheter securement device, Cardinal Health's Cath Secure Advanced. The catheter should be secured to the patient's upper thigh. Here we're demonstrating the application of an adhesive catheter anchor pre-attached to the catheter. Be sure that the area is clean of dirt and body oils. Ensure the skin is dry before placement of the securement device. Remove the backing and place the adhesive side down so that the spine of the device follows a natural path from the insertion point to the intended location of the hanging collection device. Once the catheter is secure, hang the drainage bag on the rail or footboard of the bed. The drainage bag should always be below the level of the patient's bladder to allow adequate urine flow. Reposition the patient for comfort, placing the bed in the lowest position and perform hand hygiene. For additional information on placement and care of indwelling catheters, please refer to your facility's policies and procedures and your Foley tray insert or contact your Cardinal Health sales representative. We hope you found this video, inserting Foley catheter in male patient, informative and that good technique will help you to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infections. Thank you for your time.